fighting the wind, sir. Uh, Thank you, Alexandria, for those wonderful remarks. I'm now pleased to welcome David Matthew Murphy. Uh, David is graduating today with a Bachelor of Science degree in Management with a Marketing Option. David was Oregon Tech's first ever recruit for the golf team and served as team captain for three years leading the team to a seventh place finish in the NAIE National Tournament in 2017. <laughs> Open Rivada Brew House, <laughs> as in coffee brews, not the other kind, <laughs> this past September and will continue with this business as well as continuing as an assistant coach for the, both the men's and women's golf teams this upcoming season. Please welcome David Matthew Murphy. It's a little different than a uh, small group and team communication. <laughs> so, I'm now finishing up my fifth year here at OIT, and I finally, in this past year, realized something. There's not that much of a difference between us graduates and our Board of Education. We too are the Board of Education. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Aaron, I, uh, I like to leave that joke out of the draft. <laughs> I wasn't sure that I'd be able to do this. <laughs> I would first like to thank my giant family who are here today. <laughs> of 12 kids, so I guess you could say it's really my parents that are finally graduating. <laughs> I would also like to thank God, my friends, my awesome roommates, and the faculty and staff of Oregon Tech. They really are amazing. And I would like to thank you, class of 2018, make some noise! <laughs> Just like how we were taught in college, I'm going to outline this speech for you so you don't get lost. This speech is going to be about two things. Number one, something I hope we can all strive to do, dare to fail. And number two, something I know you can all relate to. Staying awake. <laughs> or not like you. First, talking about daring to fail. Just like Oreos dared to double stuff those delicious cookies, or Taco Bell dared to surround their taco with a Dorito, or even Top Ramen daring to sell not four bags of Top Ramen for a dollar, but five bags of Top Ramen for just one dollar. <laughs> You must also dare, because without daring to fail, there will never be a chance at greatness. As Denzel Washington states, don't be afraid to dream big, to fail big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. And this talk of dreams leads us now into my next point, staying awake. <laughs> I would first like to clarify what I mean by this. Staying awake doesn't just mean not falling asleep in class, or not snoozing your alarm 15 times, or dozing off during the speech. It means staying awake in life. It means truly listening when someone is talking to you. It means thinking outside the box to solve a problem. And no, this is not an Oregon Tech commercial. <laughs> As Mark A. Hall taught me, and I'm sure taught all of you that had any of his classes, in a speech, you must tell people what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. <laughs> so as I conclude, I'll tell you what I told you. Which was always to be present and always dare to fail. 
And I want to leave you with a final quote by Maya Angelou. If you must look back, do so forgivingly. If you must look forward, do so prayerfully. However, the wisest thing you can do is be in the present, gratefully. Good luck to all you soon-to-be Oregon Tech alumni. Thank you.